Hi everyone, you might have already heard about Replit and the use cases of Replit were insane. Earlier we had bounties, that's how I got introduced to Replit and you can finish off those bounties and get paid. Then we have a standalone web interface where you can write your code and experiment. You don't have to make things in your local, which was also great. And it supports a wide variety of frameworks like Java, React, TypeScript, and a lot. Now we have an agent in Replit where it can make use of all those frameworks that it has and create multiple or different apps on the go. And it has databases within itself where we can connect those databases and even we can deploy apps in Replit. So in this video, we'll try to create few apps in Replit using agents. So without wasting any further time, let's dive in. All right, so this is Replit and you can create apps from this page right here. You just need to give your prompt right here and it will take care of. Replit is known for its developer frameworks and it supports a wide variety of frameworks right here. So you can see that it supports Python, HTML, CSS, Node.js, C++, C, Java, C hash bash, and a lot more. So you can see that all these frameworks right here, you can create apps with these frameworks in Replit. So it will create an environment for you to create the app and without setting up things in your local, you can just create apps right here. So for example, let's try to create something. So this is React JavaScript. Just click on Remix and you can give your name for this one. Once that's done, you have everything right here to create the app that you want. So we can ask our assistant to create whatever you want. So as of now, let's try to create a simple landing page and let's see how well it is going to come. So here is my prompt, create a landing page for my car wash service. All right. So it is using Cloud Sonnet right here. And you can ask questions with chat, GPT, 4 mini and advanced. It request generate code and action with Cloud Sonnet. All right. Now just click on. All right. So this is my landing page for my car wash service and the name is right here car splash and it looks pretty great you need to have more details for a go for testing this looks pretty great right here now let's head back right here and let's try to create something else now let's try to create a game and now we are going to use this chat window where it would automatically choose what app it should create, what stack it should use. Right here we have some templates, but currently it is set as auto where it would create according to the needs. So let's create. All right, so create a SO game, but with four columns, UI has to be sleek and 3D. So that's it. So we haven't mentioned about the stack or what stack or what technology needs to be used. So I hope agent is going to take care of all these things. So let's do it. Currently it is on plan mode. All right, now it is going to create a 3D game, but it would be using React and 3JS for this game. So we have more details about this two player game then win condition four in a row diagonal game reset functionality turn indicator showing current player win draw state detection display all right now click on approve and plan start all right we have the game right here so we have a 3d matrix so let's okay then now it's zero stone Let's so you can see the game right here so now the ads wins and the 3d looks really great so you can just turn this around and it is i never thought that it would be this great and i am and i have never thought of having all these things like this cool so we have sound right here. Now we can off the sound. 
create a new game now I'm gonna start all right so it's a draw what is also working here correctly cool all right now let's try to create something else and we'll also use replits authentication system for this one so we'll create a simple to do app with authentication so user can create account and log into it and they can see their particular to do's that they've created so create all right so here is our prompt create a to do application with authentication where user should be able to create account or log in log out the UI needs to be sleek, minimalist, and contrasty. Dark night mode, option to save current to-do state as image or PDF, share them in email. We have an option right here to improve the prompt. So if you click this improve prompt, it is going to improve the current prompt that we have given. Now the prompt that we have got improved a lot better. So let's read it. A web-based to-do application with user authentication that allows users to create accounts, log in, log out, and manage that their task, manage their task with a sleek, minimalist, dark interface. User can export their current to-do state as images or PDFs and share them via email. Core features, user registration, log in, log out functionality, add, edit, delete, mark task as complete, incomplete, export current to-do list as image or PDF format, share to-do lists, via email integration. Visual reference inspired by Notion's dark mode and linear task in the face, known for high contrast, minimalist design with excellent readability. And we have some style guide right here. Cool. Now let's start creating the app. Now drop proof plan user registration, complete group operation. All right, approve plan. All right, so the tech stack is right here. It is a modern web app and it will be using Postgres SQL database and for authentication it is going to use Replit Auth. All right, so it seems like the job is done. Set up Replit authentication with user management. Create a task, crude operation with database storage. Yes, it is going to use Postgres for this. Then we have those functionalities right here. And it costed about 17 cents for this whole process and it took about six minutes to create this app let's see if it is working click on get started okay let's test it in an incognito tab so this is the url of the app the development url okay click on get started all right now we have our replicate authentication system right here so you can use any of these to sign in so i'm going to use google all right so i was able to log in using my google id now click on allow all right we have it right here so this is the ui now let me click on oh. now if you want you can delete the task right here that's deleted now let's sign out of the app and sign in again to see if these things are getting saved to db and if we will if we would be able to still see this once after we signed in again all right all right now we have logged in again and we can see all the tasks that we have created earlier cool now let me check this task updated okay clicking on this which means it's it got completed this one is right here now let's see if we can export task time stamps as png image all right all right so this is the image that it saved so three tasks we had out of two we just finished and one is yet to complete and it just took a screenshot of that cool let's see if we can take this as a png again yeah it seems like this is no so screenshot and again we have it right here now let's check if it can be shared to a mail clicking on share that we have the recipients email address and things like that right here but i don't think it is going to work this is not going to work because we haven't set up its mail backend but anyways let's try 
So we have this error failed to share task. I was expecting this because we haven't set up this mail sending protocols and things like that in the background. So it is not going to work. All other tasks that we asked was working right here, which is actually great. Now let's try to deploy this app. So before that, let's go to our database. So we have it right here. So we have three rows. All right, we have those cookies and session cookies right here. Then we have task right here. So you can see the task that we create publish video task three, edit video for replit. So we have this Boolean attributes right here, checking for true and false. Then we have the users right here. All right, we have the mail ID right here, which we created. Now let's try to deploy this. I'm going to deploy it auto scale, and uh, I'm just going to use one machine as of now. Then click on approve and config and deployment secrets. We have all these things right here. So this is the domain. So if you want, you can buy domain and you can use your domain instead. So now let's deploy it right here. All right, so we have deployed it. So this is the URL. So this is the URL that we have. Now, if you want, you can buy a domain right from here and you can set things up for you. So you can manually connect if you have a domain from another registrar or you can buy a domain right from Repli. So let's see what are the domains that are available. TaskElevate.net, .org, .life, that's just two dollars and 99 cents where is something that's why i said that's just one dollar and 99 cents or else if you have a domain by yourself and you want you just wanted to add that domain all you have to do is end your domain right here then then all you have to do is edit these host name addresses and link that domain single platform right here where you can create app just where you just give a prompt and create this whole app then you test it by yourself then you have a db which is configured by itself and it has all the data right here and it can even deploy the whole application and if you want a specific domain you can integrate that domain right here or you can buy a new domain right here well this is the actual full stack development application that we have right now which take care of everything from building to deployment we have this resource monitor right here where you can check the health of your vms since we deployed it right here now and you have this analytics and you have logs pretty much everything is right here to manage your application so you can call replit as a full stack developer as of now well that's it for Replit Agent and Replit as a platform. What do you think about Replit Agent and Replit as a platform? So will you use that for your production grade application? Let me know that in the comment section. Till then, this is Castrogi Joseph signing off. Bye.